Hey, I'm Jonathan Boxer. It's time to answer a couple of your questions. Josh Fiddis, why the number 89? Um, I don't know. I wanted, when I first came over to the UK, I wanted to wear 19. And uh, when I played in Nottingham, uh, the guy who played for the team the year before who wore 19 uh, had a really, really good season and he was a bit of a bit of a legend there. So I thought, you know, coming in as a rookie, that might be a bit of a bold move to come in and take that number. And uh, it's my birth year, so I thought, well, why not try that out, try something new. And uh, I enjoy it, yeah, it's a bit different. So that was the main reason for that. All right, next question is from Lauren Craig. Uh, will you ever grow your hair long again? Uh, I think certainly at some point I'd like to to get some flow back and uh, grow it out. But uh, for, the, for the time being, I'm trying a new new hairstyle. I keep it a bit short, but I'm definitely gonna grow the beard out. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty um, pretty easy thing to do, grow your hair out and donate it, so maybe at some point. But I think uh, I think I look, look a bit more presentable with it, with it nice and short, so uh, we'll have to wait and see. Next up, we got Papazarius. Who's the hardest hitter in the squad? Well, that's tough. Um, uh, I tell you, the guy who's certainly not the hardest hitter is, is Chris Higgins. That guy could play with eggs in his pocket and they'd come out, you know, they'd be uncracked after a game, but that's just the way he is. Uh, hardest hitter is, I mean, actually, I got a good story last year. Derek Walser decided to bounce my head against the wall like a basketball with his elbow, and uh, I thought I was playing with the rock. He gave me the people's elbow, so I'm going to have to put Coach Derek Walser. Yes, I said it right. Coach Derek Walser burying me in practice last year. Amy Blair. If you weren't playing hockey, what would you, what what do you think you would be doing? Um, I have quite a few interests away from the rink. Uh, I'm really into politics, and uh, there's a lot of interesting things going on at the moment. I did an internship a few summers ago at the House of Commons, which was, uh, which was an experience for sure. But uh, eventually, I'd like to go into some form of banking, uh, commodity trading, and I'm really interested in green energy. So something along those lines, I think, would be, would be pretty cool. Um, but I don't know, at this moment, just uh, I like to travel and uh, play guitar and do things of that nature, so something along those lines for sure. Andrew Kadu, who would win a fight between Adam Keefe, Jim Vandermeer, or a kangaroo? Oh, I don't know, it depends how big that, that kangaroo was, but uh, I, I don't know, we'll have to, I don't know if I, we'd have to see how the kangaroo would do, but Jim and uh, Adam are both um, very, very tough, tough guys, and uh, you know, they're obviously, they deserve a lot of credit for what they do out there and obviously there's a couple other guys on the team that are willing to step up and uh, protect protect the guys and uh, it's the toughest job in, in my opinion in sports so for those guys to to put their bodies on the line and do what they do to help and uh, protect us out there they deserve all the accolades so I don't know about who'd win between Adam or Jim and uh, I don't know what a kangaroo would be doing on the ice so I don't know if I can answer that question. Pat Corcoran. Pat Corcoran was my roommate in college and this is, uh, I'm glad he sent this one in. Have you ever saved a friend by throwing him in a trunk of a getaway car? Yes, I have and it was a hilarious story. So if anyone wants to come up and ask me about it, I've got pictures and uh, it was it was certainly a very, very entertaining day for sure, playing a prank on someone. And yes, I have done that, Pat, and uh, I haven't forgot about it. Undead Des Mirrors. You never did explain this. Well, it's funny you say that because I was very close to wearing that hat for this interview. Um, it doesn't get enough FaceTime for sure and it was involved in two incidents last year which I can't say on camera which kind of tainted it. Um, two guys that aren't with us anymore but uh, left a forever lasting impact on that hat. Um, but yeah, no, I just uh, I bought it in Australia and uh, I think it's a good look but uh, Van Helsing is obviously kind of a kind of a tough dude and he kills vampires and does all that fun stuff and the girl who's in the film with him is pretty good looking so I like that but uh, yeah that was that was a good look and uh, I'll have to get that hat um, give it a bit more face time this year maybe wear it to a couple games. Jordan Patterson what's your mindset during a game any pre-game rituals? Uh, certainly pre-game rituals I'm one of the you know I like to get to the ring pretty early about three hours before a game and there's I wouldn't say so much rituals, they're just things that you just naturally find yourself gravitating towards, you know, a certain way you may tape a stick and ice bath and uh, Austin with uh, the physio that comes in and masseuse and does certain things. And then just relax really, I don't like to get too serious before games, I like to keep it pretty relaxed and uh, play two touch and have a lot of fun and dominate that because I'm pretty good at that. Um, and uh, during the game just, just really kind of stay focused. It's uh, 
it's some it's you don't want to get too too riled up and uh, let your emotions get away but it's it's good to play kind of on edge and be a competitor so yeah during the game I'm definitely focused and uh, just trying to uh, you know maintain you know a calm set calm frame of mind and uh, be positive out there for sure last question Mike Raja the Giants website says you're 178 centimeters how many rolls of tape were in your shoe on the way in day well, unfortunately, Raj is very confused because uh, I am actually five foot ten, as much as hard as that is to believe. But um, there were zero rolls of tape, and I think if anyone needs to worry about tape, it's how much tape Mike Raj has summer stocked last year. Um, the Giants are still paying off the tape bill from his uh, his his behaviour last year. So uh, no, Raj was a good guy, and it's good to see that he's still interested in what's happening here. But. As much as he wouldn't like to admit it, I am as tall as it says on the website, don't be fooled, and uh, there was zero tape in my shoes that day. So uh, thanks for that, Raj, and uh, appreciate your questions.